you want a chance to win £200 and a bunch of finance books, make sure you watch the video the whole way through as at some point in the video I'm going to be telling you exactly how to enter the giveaway. I watch you as you drive Do you know I'm looking And I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you Today I'm doing a bit of a different video. I just hit a thousand subscribers recently. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful for every single one of you and it just completely baffles me how in such a short amount of time I've managed to get a thousand people to actually care about what I have to say. So in honour of that I've teamed up with Ewan to do the giveaway that I mentioned at the start of the video and throughout the video I will be telling you how to enter. And I also wanted just to do a little bit of a get to know me video and I posted a Q&A on my Instagram so I got a few questions there and I'll go through those questions, give you my answers and then if there's anything else left that I think is interesting I will let you know. Okay so the first question is what are your hobbies? Now before everything lockdown related happened and slightly before that I used to be really into the gym. So the gym for me was definitely like one of my biggest hobbies. I used to go like six times a week and I bloody loved it. Um, at the moment I'm sort of trying to do a little bit of running, I was never really into cardio beforehand so it's the best I can do considering I don't have weights equipment at home and I'm really looking forward to things getting back to normal you know after the virus and stuff. I would definitely say travelling is 100% one of my hobbies, I absolutely love seeing the world, I've been to a lot of places and it just makes me incredibly happy. And lastly how could I not say hustling? Like. I love hustling, I've, it's, it's honestly, it's become such a hobby, I love it. I love seeing my side income grow, I love seeing my stocks grow, everything else, like it's, it's become very addictive. So the next question is, do you currently work as an accountant and if yes, do you enjoy it? So yes, I currently work as an accountant, I'm a chartered management accountant as of two years now and I've been working in finance for seven and a half years. In terms of whether I enjoy it, it has its ups and downs. I obviously don't enjoy it enough to want to do it for the rest of my life. Uh, that's kind of partly why I'm on this sort of fire journey and wanting to become financially independent and just do something that I genuinely really enjoy. But it's not the worst job, it pays well, I'm good at numbers so it's, it's a bit of a 50-50 really. So the next one is three random things about you. So the first thing would be that I did Japanese in school. I got to go on a student exchange to Japan and it was really awesome. Probably the best experience of my life completely. And yeah, I got like a better grade in Japanese than I did Polish, which is my native language. And it was just very bizarre, but it was incredible to, to be able to do that. Secondly is that I actually haven't eaten meat for six years. So being Polish, I think a lot of people find that interesting because the Polish diet is predominantly meat based, but yeah, haven't touched meat for six years now. And lastly, I am like absolutely terrified of spiders. I cannot handle spiders in any way, shape or form. And it's it's like a very disproportionate fear. Okay, so the next one is what made you want to start investing and how did you go about starting your YouTube channel? So in terms of investing, it was more, the more research I did into saving money, becoming financially independent, you know, through watching people on YouTube after last summer when I decided I didn't want to like work full time anymore in the finance industry and everything else like if you're more interested and you haven't watched my fire journey video I'll link it up here and you can you can have a look at that but that kind of led me down the path of doing research into becoming financially independent and I had a couple friends who'd already been investing and they'd made a lot of money and I realized that through investing I can make a lot more money over time than through bank interest at the moment and obviously loads of caveats in that and it is for long-term investing and you can never guarantee a return but pretty much overall the stock market has increased about eight percent year on year that kind of just persuaded me into, into wanting to do that in terms of my youtube channel i decided to do it because i used to talk it to a lot of people who didn't realize a lot of the things that i was talking about and they were really thankful for me helping them just with finance and getting out of debt and all these ideas that I had about hustling and stuff and it just made me realise that I loved the feeling of helping them and I realised well actually why not make a YouTube channel about this so 
that's kind of what got me into it so I just sort of went okay let's see how it goes and decided to set it up in November last year and I kind of didn't really have much time to do videos between November and March so I only put out a few videos then and then come lockdown I had loads of time on my hands and decided to start properly doing videos. So I've got two separate ones about retirement. So what's your goal retirement age and tell us more about your plans post retirement. So goal retirement age is 35. Um, that's what I'm aiming for. But when I say retired, I mean more like doing things that I want to do. So that kind of, that's why I wrap these two questions into one because the one where it says, tell us more about your plans post retirement. So what I want to do is I want to do more of like YouTube and blogging, things I enjoy and I really like to volunteer at my local dog shelter over in Poland where I'm planning to move so I'm not planning to just sit around and watch TV all day every day <laughs> I've had so many questions of people saying to me like won't you be bored if you're not working full time um, and the answer is no I have so much I want to do I'm going to keep myself busy and I'm still going to do things that get me a little bit of income so it's not like I'm going to completely stop earning income forever and that's it um, but it'll be more about I guess focusing on that financial independence aspect and not having to work so having I remember watching this TED talk once about mini retirements and basically going like well if I don't want to work I don't have to I can just chill out you know spend time with my family and things but if I get bored and I want to take on a project or a contract or something else or you know teach English online that's what I'll be doing I've been thinking recently because I'm doing the TEFL course I'm thinking about maybe tutoring online whilst I'm in Poland and I've worked out that actually working two hours a day um, at the kind of rates that I think I could get would be enough uh, to sustain me as well. It'll be quite an interesting uh, journey so I'm really excited that there are so many people here uh, to watch me go through it and yeah that's that's pretty much it. Will you leave your husband for, for me? Uh, I don't have a husband and even if I did the answer would be no. So I had one question um, which said, do you speak Polish and are you voting in the presidential elections? And I answered this already personally because uh, the elections have already come and gone, although there is now a, a second election. But yes, I'm Polish. I was born in Poland and I am definitely voting in the elections. I'm planning to go back there, so I need to get more involved in what's happening. And if you know anything about politics, the political situation in Poland is not great and I want to make sure that I have my say before I go back. Okay, the next one is, what's your ideal holiday? Where would you go, what would you do, and your favorite holiday so far? So my ideal holiday is a mixture between sitting around on the beach and having the seaside. I absolutely love the beach, the sea, the ocean. Literally, that is like the ideal scenario. But also a bit of an element of sightseeing and culture and being able to experience new things. I think that's partly why Thailand is my favourite holiday so far. I've been to a lot of different places, but to me, somewhere where the culture is super different is always going to be the most interesting. So Thailand has the perfect combo of like beautiful scenery that makes you feel like you're not even in this planet, but also a completely different culture from us over here so that combined with the fact that in the last trip I met some of my now best friends uh, on that trip it's it's definitely one that I will cherish forever and also Thailand is incredibly cheap so it's actually the only place I've gone back to twice so I'm trying to travel as much of the world as I can so I try not to go back to the same place twice because I'm like well why would I spend my money going back to the same place when I could go somewhere else and like tick it off the list I have a world map uh, in my room where I'm scratching off where I've been but Thailand was so incredible the first time around that I decided it was worth going back. Next one is where do you research stocks? So for me the main website that I use is Hargreaves Lansdowne. They have so much information that the majority of the time that's all I need. Um, other times I also use the Trading212 app because they have a lot of detail in there as well. Lastly, I do use, I think I've mentioned in one of my dividend videos that I use a website called Dividend Max. That's mostly purely just dividend information, but um, yeah, it's, it's one I use, so I thought I'd mention it. Last question is, what never fails to make you happy? And for me, 100%, like I didn't even have to think about this, is animals. I am obsessed 
with all animals and I cannot wait to have my big house in Poland and have loads of pets and volunteer at the shelter and be around animals all the time because I know I'll be so happy then just watching like cute animal videos on the internet on TikTok or on YouTube or whatever else like it just makes me so warm and happy inside and the other day I was actually um, in a lobby and about seven different dogs went past when I was there and I had to give each and every one a cuddle and it was the best evening I've had in a long time so yeah I'm a bit obsessed with animals I've teamed up with Ewan to celebrate both of us hitting a thousand subscribers and if you haven't watched our collaboration videos go check them out but we will be giving away 200 pounds in cash and a bunch of finance books now the reason i'm not saying which finance books is because depending on who wins they may already have some books so we will work out the details with the person who wins all you have to do in order to win is be subscribed to both of our channels and we will be asking for proof if your subscriptions aren't public and then comment on this video for one entry and for a second entry go and comment on Ewan's latest video as well now when you do comments do include your Instagram handle because we will be announcing the winner on Instagram a week from today if you don't have Instagram and still want to enter just say it in the comments that you don't have Instagram and we'll still include you in the giveaway and then get in touch through the comments if you win. So a few more things about me if you're interested and want to stick around. I was born in Poland and my family and I moved here when I was eight years old. So although I'm technically Polish, I feel more British than Polish. Um, I actually got my citizenship I think about three years ago. I'd always meant to do it and then I kept putting it off because it was quite pricey. And then obviously Brexit happened and I kind of had to do it. I basically ended up spending double on the citizenship than I would have if I'd just done it previously. Never mind. So yeah, I've, I've been living pretty much in London most of my life. I did briefly live in Sheffield for three years. I moved there for uni and obviously if you've watched some of my other videos, I left uni after one year but then I got a job there and stuck around for about two years and then decided to move back to London. As I said before, my whole career pretty much has been in finance. I do have two gorgeous cats, which unfortunately can't be with me in my flat here because it's not really fair on them. They were outdoor cats before and I don't want to sort of keep them in a flat. But I do miss them very, very much. They're currently with my mum in Poland and I'm really excited because I'm going to get to go and see them hopefully next month, which will be amazing. I do actually get asked the question a lot about um, firstly, whether I'm single and secondly, whether I'm planning for this in my financial independence plan. And the answer is yes, I'm single and yes, I'm planning for this in terms of, so I have zero interest in ever dating again. It's, it just doesn't work for me. I don't know what it is, but it, I just can't be in relationships. So yes that answers that question. I think that's pretty much all the questions that I get asked, but if you have anything else that you want to know about me, do just let me know and I will be happy to answer. Good luck for the giveaway and see you in the next video. Bye. Do you know I'm looking And I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you